I'm Ilaria Danieli, I'm a journalist and during my career I specialized in the fashion fields and the, the jewelry field. I had got the opportunity to work for Condé Nast as the feature editor of Vogue Gioiello, that is Vogue Jewelry, close to Franca Sozzani. And then I became the editor-in-chief of a jewelry trade magazine that is Lora Italiano, the Italian goldsmith that is the oldest one in Italy. Here at the Istituto Marangoni, I teach in the history of jewelry course inside the Master in Jewelry Design. Hello, my name is Maui. I'm from Spain and since I was small I decided that my passion was jewelry. So that's why I decided to do my Master in Istituto Marangoni and to improve my knowledge about jewellery. The Master in Jewellery Design here at the Instituto Marangoni aims to give the students um, the widest knowledge possible in the fashion field and uh, uh, of all the skills that are requested from the market. We are in Italy, so um, what we try to give the students is uh, the atmosphere of the so-called made in Italy that is not only a way of living but also a way of working uh, with deep devotion for quality and a strong passion for beauty. A piece of jewelry is also a dream and so uh, it is what we try to uh, transmit uh, to our students. They will um, study research methods, of course technical drawing, uh, but also uh, the sociology of consumption and trend forecasting and um, also they have courses in marketing and retailing uh, management. Istituto Marangoni has an amazing things and one of them is that they took you to good companies, important companies, and they present you, the, the owners, and also the people who work there, and they show you everything, the inside. And I think that's such, such important thing for any student. And another good thing of this institute is that everything is handmade, and you don't use at all in jewelry, the 3D. And that for me, that's so important, because it's a thing that we are losing. It's, People say that it's things from the past, the nowadays is the new revolution of the 3D, but I think on fine jewelry, the essence is doing everything by hand. To take part to the Master in Jewelry Design here at Istituto Marangoni, the students need to um, have the basic skills in technical drawing, basic uh, knowledge in the history of art, um, but most of all an open mind uh, ready to learn and to apply all the techniques and the methods uh, studied in class in order to develop uh, their own creativity and talents. The abilities that the students uh, will achieve during the course are uh, basically abilities in technical drawing but also in conceiving a complete collection uh, of jewellery uh, with all the articulation of products that are involved. Then uh, they uh, will be able to analyze the identity of a brand and to interpret it and to position it in uh, the luxury market. Uh, also, uh, they will uh, develop uh, the capacity to think as a manager uh, in order to create a collection that could meet the uh, consumer's needs. Also, during the course, uh, they will take part to visit in the showrooms and they will have uh, practical lessons in the atelier and participate uh, to um, design events here in Milan, like the Salone del Mobile. 
We work for two important brands here in Italy and we did projects for them and that make us being excited because we know the owners and the manager of the brand and they were the ones who correct our projects and they saw our projects and they were the ones who decided in which way to go or not. And another good thing that I would like to say of Morangoni is that they took us to many uh, places to visit, like to Florence, to know more about history and also to La Escuela Orafa, to work during one month in, in the handmade of jewels. The professional paths that are most likely to be taken after the master are uh, those uh, involved in uh, visual activities uh, mostly and particularly to be the designer, the art director or all the visual development in uh, communication and advertising or um, the a possible profession could be in uh, the marketing and uh, uh, retailing uh, department, but also uh, for particular person, uh, it could be uh, the career in uh, managing and uh, in uh, creating the, the possible uh, uh, collection for uh, the, the new development of the brand. My advice to take part effectively to this master is to think you are in Italy and particularly in Milan, a city full of cultural opportunities. So you can take part to all this, going to visit the exhibitions, going to museums, to galleries, watching movies and um, listening to concerts. What I recommend for the new students to come to Instituto Marangoni is to be prepared and be motivated. If this is what you like, you will get what you want. My advice is to uh, do all what you can to feed your creativity and your knowledge. So at the end, uh, to read, to watch, uh, to listen and to learn from the leading ones. I'm Anarita Celano. I have been a student at Istituto Marangoni in fashion design and accessories. After the study, I started my career working with many companies as consultant um, and uh, between these companies there were, uh, for example, uh, Brunello Cucinelli, uh, Missoni and many others. Four years ago I decided to go forward one of my bigger passions that is fine jewelry and uh, I started my own company uh, of fine jewelry. I think that the background of uh, my Instituto Marangoni studies is very important to me today when I create uh, my collections. My collection is uh, made in Italy, in Milano, and is all uh, in uh, ethically sourced materials. That is very important to me. The company that produced me is a certificate company uh, and uh, that's very important for my value and for uh, our daily time. I'm very excited about my project because uh, I'm starting to distribute in the top uh, concept store uh, worldwide, uh, such as uh, Antonia, Excelsior Milano, uh, Arvin Nichols in London. And uh, I'm very happy about the response I'm having actually from big celebrities. For example, at Golden Globes, I had uh, a celebrity wearing my earrings. Last week, uh, I had the first international placement on Carrie Russell, the actress of The Americans. During the Golden Globes, she was wearing my earrings. Carolina Crescentini wearing actually the necklace I'm wearing now and um, I think it's starting really to go very well. I have a lot of press 
and I think it's gonna grow a lot. My memory of my time at Istituto Marangoni are always uh, very happy because I remember I was coming from Naples where I'm originally from and uh, I arrived here in a totally creative environment, first time in my life because uh, I grew up in a classical bourgeoisie uh, environment. So I could finally express myself dressing like a crazy. I mean, I always did, but here was like a contest every morning between all of us, all the international students, the Italian students, uh, wearing the cooler outfit, uh, Gautier, Romeo Gigli, it was like always being on a catwalk. Times were different, there were not uh, social media, so it was not so easy to see people dress uh, creatively because there was just the proper press and uh, Istituto Marangoni was this um, environment in which you really felt to get out of you the most creative ideas uh, just looking around you and uh, dressing yourself very creatively. My suggestion regarding uh, your course at Istituto Marangoni is uh, to really appreciate it and get the most out of it because um, this year is going to be stick in your art and your life forever. Get the most out of it in terms of creativity, learning, experience of life, relationship with your colleagues, really. I would be so happy to be young again and be back to it and do it with this conscience. Really guys, enjoy it.